Hello everybody, my name is Enoch and welcome back to the channel. So today, um, I have a new mic. I'm not sure how good it is compared to the old one, but it's a lot better. It is a blue snowball, blue ice, or black ice, because the mic is black. So I figured I'm going to restart this from the beginning, kind of give my opinions on it as I go, and all that other fun stuff. So yeah, I'm just going to get right into it. Oh, I love the style of this, so... Alrighty. Let's get going. This is... Team Switched. I think that's what it stands for. Underswap. You can download it on Game Jolt. I will leave it in... I will leave a link from it in the description. All credit goes to them, obviously, because they made this epic project. And, uh, yeah. I'm not using a border, because I don't really need to. And, uh, yeah, let's start going. Oh yeah, I guess we don't- oh. There's Tammy. You look familiar. Remember me, yeah yeah? When you get special discount. <laughs> Here at Time Shop have lots of product. Nice product, great product, and for you, best product in underground. Information. You got some ones? <laughs> okay, can have different price. <laughs> but that not import. Time for a temp teacher. Yeah, yeah. It even feels exactly like the battle system. V -v pretty. The ground soul is value. Everybody wants that soul. <laughs> okay. So, your soul is the manifestation of your being, which means that V import. But because of this, people try to take soul. Which isn't good. You gotta come control soul with arrow key and dog attack. No, the attack is on the loss. Human, look out for the attack. What happens if I get hit by it? I forget what I was saying. Whoa, human, human is master at craft. Yeah, yeah. Good job, expert achieved. You are a natural, but that's not it. Just yet, more teach. So that's our LV, it stands for love. Love is very important in the underground. You gotta get lots, you got. Gotta get love to survive. No. And Tem want lots of love. <laughs> so human. Price for teach is give ten love. Yeah, I'm not giving you any. Well, what matter, human? Ten finish teach. Ten just want love. How about this? Y you can't have any of it. Human, teach. You gotta give love. Running from ten. Aw. Yep. Typical. I misjudged you. Clearly, you know what's going on here. Or maybe you don't, after all. You waltz in here with a soul like that, and expect me just to sit here and do nothing? After being without one for so long? If you think the answer is yes, then sorry, but you're dead wrong. So do me a favor and give me your soul. No manners. Him. What a big bummer, yeah, yeah. And after we had so much fun, only for some on to butt in. I guess Tem gotta go now. Bye bye for now, human. Sorry, I was just taking a sip of my cherry tea. Ah, you're a human. I haven't seen one of your kind in quite some time. And how young you are, too. 
Good golly, are you hurt, child? I apologize for not coming sooner and more prepared, for that matter. Perhaps I should have placed a mattress on the flower bed, but I suppose that's neither here nor there. Hello, my name is Asgore Dreamer. I come through here every day to tend to the flowers. However, today seems as if it will be an exception. Rise, child. I shall gather, I shall guide you through these ancient halls. Can you walk? Ah, good. Come with me. Okay, guys, in a ruined home. Welcome to Ruined Home, the former capital of monster civilization. There's still some puzzles lying around to be solved, and actually, why don't I just show you? Yep. This is going to be a lot to take in. A whole new world of monsters underneath a mountain. Though despite all this, the towering walls of Ruined Home fill me with determination. Yeah, Kara, or Kara, first, Kara, first, Kara, is uh, in first person. So that's pretty cool. It's funny, sometimes I forget how small Run Home is. Well, I guess that's what comes with old AJ. I'm gonna split this up into quite a few parts. I'll play for an hour first. And just why you need to solve puzzles to pass. Soon after the war, we set up these puzzles to deter human invaders. After a while, however, they stopped serving their original purpose and became a part of our everyday lives. Nowadays, it's just tradition to solve puzzles to proceed. So what do you say? Let's give it a shot. It went like this, didn't it? Wait, no. Yeah, I think it was... Yeah, there we go. The puzzles will become more difficult. Though I'm curious. You did this with such ease. Have you done this before? In any case, let's continue to the next room. Now, I'll do something much easier. Keep this puzzle enough to navigate between two mazes. Just flip the switch. Just flip the right switches to lower the barriers. Flipping the incorrect switch will result in a penalty, so be careful. I think it goes... Uh, it goes like this. There we are. And then it's this one. There we are. You certainly have a grasp at how to how puzzles work here. Fortunately, there are obstacles far more difficult to find. I will explain in the next room. I like Rune Poem a lot more than I like the runes in Undertale. Ah, here we are. Through this door is a very old training room. As you are human in the underground, monsters may attack you. Now, don't get the wrong idea. Many monsters are still very bitter with humanity. Either way, you must know how to defend yourself. Would you care for a lesson, child? Yeah, I will. Splendid. Come along, then. No, I'm not speaking in the characters' voices, because that's just a gigantic pain in the ass. When a monster attacks, you will enter a fight. In this scenario, your opponent will be this training dummy. When you're ready to begin, simply approach it. You get that. In a battle, you have many options at your disposal. For one, you may act to resolve things peacefully, show your opponent mercy, make use of an item you have on hand, or if push comes to shove, fight your way out. Why don't you give them a try? My my, how impressive. Though when striking your opponent, be sure to time your get ready then. Strike. Would be wise. If push comes to shove, you may need a fight. So not to scare your opponent off though. Yes, just like that. Once you land a harder hit though, I'd advise following out the softer ones after. That way you do no true harm. Yeah, there we go. Much better. Weaker attacks are good for scaring. We don't want to hurt anyone now, do we? Dummy attack, zero. Defense, yes. Such tattered old mess. Staring right into nothingness. You use act to check your opponent. You may learn something useful about them. Further on, you may use that information to your advantage. And act further to find a suitable... Yeah. Wonderful, I see you've made a new friend. Seems like they no longer wish to even fight you. Perhaps all they wanted 
someone to talk to. From here, you can show your opponent mercy and spare them. I asked the dummy about life's many mysteries. Did you talk with your friend? Why, how wonderful. Though there's still more we should tend to. I stare at the dummy. The dummy stares back. I'm at a loss for words. Well, I suppose that's all you needed to learn. Hope you enjoy it. Now before we go, how about you say goodbye? Ooh, yep, here we go. I've had it. I've had it. I've had it! Yep, the mad dummy. You, that's all you have to say after everything we went through together? You're just going to say goodbye? Like nothing even mattered? And, and, you really think you can solve your problems by talking it out? Well, I have news for you, dummy. Nobody is going to listen to your howdy when they're trying to kill you. Not to mention all you do is talk and talk and talk. Not even a how are you or what's your favorite color. I'll have you know my favorite color is hot pink. What a surprise. But you wouldn't care, would you? I came here in search of a real opponent, and I get stuck with you? I have never been so insulted in all my life! Your mere presence has just made me so mad, livid, absolutely enraged! And do you know what I do when I'm mad? Throw knives horribly, apparently. I sorry I have more knives, usually. This isn't over! Mark my words with your brightest mark, you human. From this moment forth, we are mortal rivals. <laughs> well, that was unexpected. However, you still did a great job. In any case, that's it for battle training, I suppose. Before we move on, I want to give you something. Yep, the journal. This is a journal and some cranes too. With these, you might jot down whatever you see fit. Whether it be profiles, notes, or doodles. I'm sure you will use it very well. In the meantime, I will be going on ahead. Feel free to record your thoughts or take a break. This room is rather tranquil after all. Perfect place for a picnic or a tea party. Bah, there I go, rambling on again. Regardless, human, take your time. Let's take a look. Asgore, an old monster living in a ruined home who wants me to be safe. Status Jolly. Tell me, a weird cat dog creature that tried to kill me. Status Creepy. A training dummy that has a vendetta against us. Status Rival? Okay. That's enough for now. We have a pointy stick. Pointy stick, a simple means of self defense. We're just gonna go ahead and unequip that. You can actually unequip weapons without equipping others. Chocolate bar. Has a rich, dark, and captivating taste. However, it's rather sticky. Okay, let's move ahead. Ha ha ho. Well, would you look at that? It's none other than a bowl of candy. Say, why don't you treat yourself to these? After all, you've certainly earned it. The monster candy. Good choice. Lucky for you, this candy is a magic item. If your soul were to sustain damage in a fight, you may use certain items to heal your injuries. Or just take a rest. It will see their body, mind, and soul. Let's check. Frog it. Attack 4, defense 5. Life seems to be rough for this monster. Why, hello there, little froggit. How are you today? I see you met my new friend. I must ask that we talk later, as we're a bit busy at the moment. Ribbit, ribbit. My apologies, Asgore. I'll see you later. I took another candy. I can't help but feel bad. I took another piece of monster candy. My pocket feels heavier than it should. What? You know what? I'm taking more. 
I want to take another piece of candy, but in a moment of hesitation, I accidentally knocked the bowl over. Ugh. Only three pieces, huh? What have I... What have I done? Does it feel ten, like it does an undertow? Feels ten. Tastes very strongly of something non-licorice. Well, that's hopeful. Now then, before we proceed throughout the rest of Runetome, I thought we could just take a little stroll, enjoy the scenery, and chat for a while. Come, young one. Ah, would you smell the flowers? I know it may not seem like such a big deal. They're just flowers, after all. But, see, it's much more than that. Even though this world was meant to be our prison, Sealing us underneath the bright skies and seeing birds, life continues to firmly plant its roots and with it, hope. Hope for a better tomorrow, for peace, for freedom. You know, it's funny. Being the sage of Rune Home and knowing so many monsters, you'd think I'd just recognize just about everybody here. I always ensure to take walks throughout the city, saying hello to as many people as I can and attending social events. But every now and then, it seems like unfamiliar faces appear. One of them I could even swear I resembled. No, that couldn't be, just a coincidence. That was very long ago, maybe even from before my time. Golly, are we already at the end of the hall? It's quite amazing how just how time can fly. Especially when you're as old as me. Reach the end? You have been doing such a great job. Why, everything thus far has gone smoothly. Well, well, aside from the dummy, but... I'm confident that now you understand the basics of rune tone. Come, let us... Ring, ring. Now, who could that be? Howdy, how may I? Oh... Golly, that, that's quite unexpected. I'll be right there to sort it out. My apologies, something has suddenly come up. I must run some errands, which means you will be alone for a while. I know, I know, you have proven yourself through understanding of Rune Home. However, it seems somebody has been causing a ruckus, harassing some monsters and screaming rather loudly and angrily. I do, not, I do trust you, but I worry for your safety. Ah, it seems that I have an extra cell phone. Please take it. It can be used from the menu. In the event that you need me, feel free to call. I'll return soon. Okay, let's give this a shot. Howdy, and how are you faring, child? Ah, good, good. I'm very glad to hear. Oh, you just, you know his number right off. I guess I don't get the random phone calls that I got last time. Did I... did I hear that correctly? Golly, that's quite adorable and quite unexpected. You will find I am far too old for your child. Perhaps you may find love, or at least expected. My, you sure are determined. I'm not sure how to respond, frankly. You could do much better than a kooky old man like me. You have your whole life ahead of you. Pardon? <laughs> oh, you did? Nobody has called me that in a long time. I guess you could call- okay. <laughs> now, I know I gave you permission to call me dad, and calling me daddy is perfectly <laughs> the reason. But when did you do that so suggestively, young one? My god. That's so freaking hilarious. I don't know whether to laugh or feel disturbed. <laughs> okay. Alright, I think that's about it for this episode. I know this was a short one, but just wanted to get a little bit through. And uh, get through the beginning. Let's say... Once these video, once this video gets to, let's say, 5 likes, I'll upload a new one as soon as possible. 
thank you for watching my video, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.